In this video, we're going to have a look at a merge sort. Now, if you've watched our previous video on bubble sorts, you'll know that the bubble sort was quite inefficient. The merge sort, although it's much harder to program, is definitely more efficient because it can work on multiple lists at the same time. It uses a divide and conquer method, and it creates two or more identical subprograms from the largest problem, solving them individually. It combines their solutions to solve the bigger problem. The data set is repeatedly split in half until each item is in its own list. Adjacent items are then merged back together. So this algorithm works very well for large data sets. So here's a data set of breakfast cereals. The original data to sort is shown on the left and the sorted data that we're trying to achieve is shown in green on the right. And the object is to put them in alphabetical order with the lowest one at the bottom. So cornflakes, crunch nut clusters, fruit and fiber, sugar puffs, and Weetabix at the top. We're now gonna go through the steps of the algorithm to see if we can get to the sorted data set. So we start by splitting our initial list into individual lists of one item. We end up with five separate lists as shown here. We then compare items in adjacent lists. So we compare sugar puffs to crunch nut clusters. Crunch nut clusters comes first. So we put it into a new merged list followed by sugar puffs. We repeat the process and we compare items in adjacent lists. Fruit and fiber comes first. So we put it into a new merge list followed by Weetabix. Cornflakes has nothing to compare to, so it can just go into a new list on its own. We repeat the algorithm and we now need to compare these two adjacent lists, which were merged from the previous single item lists. We compare the first item in the first list with the first item in the second list. Crunch nut clusters comes first, so we put it into a new merged list currently on its own. We now compare sugar puffs with the first item in the other list, which is still fruit and nut fiber. Fruit and nut fiber comes first, so we put it into the new merge list. We now compare sugar puffs with Weetabix. Sugar puff comes first, so we add it to the new merge list, followed by Weetabix. Cornflakes is still in a list on its own and has nothing to compare itself to, so we can just go into a new list on its own. We repeat the process by comparing the bottom item of the bottom list with the bottom item of the top list. So we compare crunch nut clusters with cornflakes. Cornflakes comes first, so that gets put into a new merge list. Now we've done that, crunch nut clusters can move over to the new merge list. There are no items left to compare, so all the remaining items can safely move over to the new merge list. And what we've ended up with is the sorted data set. The merge sort, as you can see, is quite complicated to program. So in exams, you only need to be able to follow the steps and illustrate the algorithm rather than code it. We've shown it to you here for reference, but being able to understand and reproduce this code is something you'll study at A-level. We know that algorithms are some of the hardest parts of any computer science specification. So we have written a book called Essential Algorithms for A-Level Computer Science, which is available on Amazon. While the title of the book suggests this is only for A-Level, 
you can see here from the examination board mapping page that we have chapters which cover every algorithm you're required to know for the GCSE. This book then would be perfectly appropriate for you to use and also to take on to A level should you choose to carry on studying the subject. Every chapter is presented in the same way. We introduce the algorithm from a high level perspective and provide a link to our videos. We then lay out the algorithm in simple structured English so you can get your head around it. We illustrate the algorithm in the form of a diagram and then provide an example of stepping through it. All of these steps are designed to really get you to understand the algorithm before we present you with pseudocode. After the pseudocode, we present you with actual code written in both Python and Visual Basic, which you could type in and try for yourself. Thank you.